Hello and welcome to Texas. We are in the Be Open series here in the Xfinity car and we are the number nine getting ready to head into qualifying here. It's been a while since I've raced and even longer since I recorded. Um, just needed a little bit of a break for mental health and uh, you know real life stuff causing stress and uh, just wasn't having very much fun because uh, it was all getting a bit too serious. So I just needed to take some time away and uh, that'll happen once in a while. So thankfully I'm feeling a bit better now. So I'm jumping back into racing, which I'm happy about because I do love this stuff. Even if sometimes I need to distance myself because it can be pretty stressful because I, uh, I take it seriously in the fact that I don't want to crash or run into people and uh, I want to do well. Because I put a lot of time into, uh, into this, you know, blah, blah, blah. But gotta remember to have fun. So that's what we're gonna try to do here today in one of my favorite cars at one of my favorite tracks. Seems like a good place to come back. We'll see. But uh, heading out, qualifying here and spinning out. Green, green, green. Just gonna go ahead and restart this, sorry. Because uh, obviously you want a better run to the line than that. I'm actually, um, I'm using the OSR setup. They had a qualifying and a race setup, but I actually decided that I was much better with the race setup than the qualifying setup. I don't know if I was just running the qualifying setup completely wrong, but it was just plowing mid-corner. Maybe it was just the practice I was in had different track conditions than this, and it would actually be really fast right now, but, uh... I practiced with the race setup with just, you know, the extra qualifying tape. And so that's what I got used to, and so I'm not going to try to uh, take too big of a risk. I was feeling like I hit green, pretty green, good green. fast okay. laps just with the race setup with the tape. So I'm just going to go with that. Should be all right. As long as I don't spin out, which I am trying to do once again. That is the thing, it is pretty loose on the cold tires, so unfortunately that wasn't too great. But we'll have a lap number two where hopefully the tires will be more up to temp. Maybe uh, gain a little bit here. One more lap. Fastest lap four. At least we got a lap. That's worth something. Return to position. That puts you number three off the pace. Oh, I'm getting a little bit tight, but we're okay. Didn't really have the lift there, I just had to be careful getting back on throttle. Maybe not the fastest way to do that, but... Hurt. Keep by the white line. This will at least be better than the first lap. Who knows if it's competitive at all. We're in the 29th, I'm happy with that. I'll take it. We are the number 9 lap in 3.8k strength of field. Pretty strong, not going easy on me after being away for a while, and uh, that's also why I'm not really expecting too much out of myself. Just trying to get back into it. So if I uh, fall even some more spots here, that's that's fine. I'm gonna try to uh, take it one lap at a time. See where we end up at the end of this one do a practice pit stop as well. Kind of found a good uh, spot, a good marker on the wall to look at. Seems to uh, be a good place to start my braking. Here. Look out for the pit That's pretty good. Limit. You have to go all the way down to 45, so... Got to make sure that I'm slowing down enough. And uh, try to uh, approach it with the right mindset. Rather underdrive it than overdrive it. Three, two, one. So, right here. Just going to try to have the right mentality to my approach here. Let's see what we can get. So, didn't qualify too well. 14th right now. But in the 29s is about where I was hoping to be. We will switch over to the race set. It shows as a Q set, but that's just because I overlapped it with uh, the race set with the tape, so I could easily switch back. I did add a couple bit of uh, a percentage of tape to the race set. 
because it is a I do really want to try to get this thing rotating as much as possible. So the more the merrier on the tape, as long as it doesn't uh, crack a toe on us. Well, it's looking like we're going to be about mid-pack to start this one. we got 28 people, looks like. Yep, 27 actually, because someone's not here. I don't know if they showed up and then lagged out, or if they just didn't show up at all. It looks like they didn't show up at all. So actually 27, actually out on track, we're actually going to be going here. So just a little bit below mid-pack, um, it might be smart just to take it real easy then. If we're going to be in the back, we can have ourselves a nice low pressure race, go for a long run approach, hopefully survive if anything goes south in front of us. And hopefully be there at the end of the 90 lap event. I'm going to keep the dash up here just so I can keep an eye on those temperatures. I don't think it should be an issue. And if it does start overheating, well, then I could just save tires, which I'll probably, even though I'm saying I'm going to save tires, I'll probably need to do it more anyway. Because <laughs> whenever I try to save tires, apparently, I uh, that just means I'm killing my tires a little less than everybody else. But I'm still killing my tires. Really not great at it. Especially in this car. I seem to usually have a pretty rough time saving tires in this car. For whatever reason. I just tend to overdrive it, I guess. P15, so we'll be on the inside. I like that. Inside's where you want to be here at Texas, I think. Obviously, that's the one line around the track for the most part. The low line. You could make it work a lane up in three and four, but probably less good on the tires. And uh, maybe even one and two, but I mean, in order to actually make it around someone on the outside here, you probably have to use a lot of tires. So generally, probably prefer to stay on the bottom if you can. You have three additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. Get going here, get that radio on. In case we need to hear something calling out pit stops or something. About 55 laps for fuel. So if this thing happens, I'll go green, which I hope it does. Probably pit about uh, 45. Adjust a lap or two in either direction, depending on how I'm feeling. Got our everyone's favorite sideways start. Driving fourth gear here, just to save some fuel, maybe. Probably not going to use it. But it's, it's just a habit at this point. When I'm pacing around, I save fuel. First gear start, maybe. We'll go for it. If not, we need to do another restart later. We'll know for for then. Get ready, going green. About ready to go. I think they've got the uh, restarts okay, so re-implemented. So that's pretty cool. Green flag, green flag. I forgot to shift back into first gear, so I guess we're doing a second gear start. Seems to work just fine. I'm already making mistakes. At least I'll have the excuse that I'm rusty. Not Wallace. Because then I would be a good driver. Got the bottom line working. It's doing us wonders. Still there. 
Outside is clear. Outside. Keep right. That's a rotation, that's good. That's Go good. Still there, hold the line. Still there, hold the line. Clear high. Moving forward, that's cool. Oh, he's trying to pass at this point. It just kind of is happening. So I'm running the bottom line. A little bit of bobbling ahead. Into spear. Continue to get to the guys inside here. A little bit of break. This thing turning. Still there, hold the line. Outside. And it's giving us draft. Sure he's not doing that for my sake. That was funny. Helpful, I guess. If intentional either way. Get almost the pass. Clear outside if you want it. Maybe getting a little bit tight in mid-point here, one and two. It's something to keep note of. I'm not going to want to push it much right there. It's going to leave the bottom open. I'm going to take that. Just gonna keep running my line down here. He can hang out there as long as he wants. I think I'm okay. Just hanging out. Bottom line. So we'll back off now. All right. Spot is ours. Try to be gradual on that throttle. It's tempting to just floor it in three and four. This car it does affect the tire wear pretty bad if we just uh, go full out down there. So try to keep it low. Three, one, and two. I think that's where you're getting the best rotation. That doesn't come from your steering wheel, which is always important. Feeling good. Top 10 right now. Everyone's kind of getting spread out. Clean race so far. It's always a nice thing to see. Go session and last. We'll see if I've been overdriving it. I have passed quite a few people, so maybe I'm overdoing it. It's, wouldn't be the first time. But it's also nice to get that track position, so. Pros and cons, I guess. Oh, guy getting loose ahead. Right I think the guy checked up when he saw Still that. I'm going to use this opportunity to get the nose on him. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. See how hard he fights that. All right, Colton. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. How much he's even able to. Oh my god, he's off the wall. Uh, I'm glad I saw that in the mirror. I don't know if I would have uh, made contact with him. Had I not moved to the left a little bit. I don't know how close that was. But definitely got the wall. I gave him room. 
bounced off. I was afraid he was going to hit me. That still feels good. I'm feeling okay right now. It's still early though. B9 is exactly where I'm supposed to be apparently. bit of break, a little bit of extra rotation if I can get it. Might want to back that up just a little bit more. I'm kind of catching up. Maybe I did overdo it. Uh oh, the guy behind's blinking. Looks good. Someone's racing really close to you. Caution. Alright, that kind of works out for us because I was starting to feel like you didn't, uh, you didn't see the smoke in front of the tires. We're not in a good spot. We didn't even really get close on temperatures, so I'm actually going to add some more. I do think that could be very important here. So, we'll do 70. Who was that that got turned? Not going to make it on fuel or anything. Still, so... It was, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. I know I was on the grass, whatever, but, uh, I think. I'm not going to say it without watching it. But damn, did it look like that goes the way you went around. So that works out for us, even if I was too aggressive. Uh, too, um, too much on the tires. Caution bails us out. We get to keep the track position. Tire savers hate him. Did you make it out all right? Because of this one small trick. Click here to find out more. No, no. The trick is to hope for a caution. I think uh, everybody's going to be coming down. I can't muff at all. I do apologize. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Pit lane speed limit. Got to get some new round boys. After that long of a run. Three, two. One. Right here. A little bit ginger on the entry. 91, 92, that's actually not too bad. Didn't feel great, but that's actually not too bad based on the numbers themselves. Okay, punch it. So. They want you in single file. 59 laps of fuel. It's sad not enough to make it to the end. If we were to divide this run in half, what would we get here? Let's see, next lap will be the lap 18. Start out 19. Three and one. Did you get a chance to watch it or anything? One lap so 40. So maybe we'll comment about. Seven. Well, good. Yeah, it was net code, but it looked like you guys were going to hit regardless. Should we come out in the same spot? Here, but it seems like sure. it whipped them around quick. I hope so. I would. I would like to be on the inside. Been a lot of net problem with netcode lately. Darlington was terrible. One to go. Next I mean, I even got net, I just made it through that wreck, but I got netcoded by Heli. Has there ever been a, a time in history of iRacing that netcode has been a thing? I don't know. I haven't been racing. I don't know if it's particularly bad right now, but. 
kind of just a reality of this online racing thing we do, I think. But who knows, maybe it's worse than usual. I would believe that. So do we try first gear this time? Second gear worked. I think second gear actually might be play unless you're starting P1 or something. Because that does seem like it spins the tires up a little bit. So, I guess uh, if it isn't broke, do not fix it. <laughs> it's the proper way to say it. Ain't broke, don't fix it. Hmm. Five fifty five. About to go green, stay focused. I think sixty thirty or something, actually. Sorry, I'm doing the math. The gas car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Outside. Go low. Still there, hold your line. Outside, you're clear. Car outside. Still there. Hey, we got to the inside there. Go low. Go low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Outside is clear. Outside. Back it down a little bit more, that's right. That could help us. And we got blocking. Lap 20. Got heads in the apron. It's kind of scary. Still there, hold your line. Go low. Clear up top. Outside. Still kind of there, hold out there. Might do it. Clear outside. That was dangerous of him. Pull right in front of me. That was we're going into the corner. Expect it, so be ready. That's your fastest lap today. The car ahead has just done at 30.2. Back it down. Let's see if we can save tires a bit better this time. Maybe take advantage of other people opening doors rather than uh, opening them myself. Seventh position. Come forward still. Love it. So I think I actually want to come in about lap 62, probably. Doing my math again. Your lap time was 30.4. We've got room behind right now, so I'm feeling more comfortable with the idea that I can get down a little bit more, even. That behind seems to uh, be doing so. And the threes back there as well. I have to assume both of them kind of know what they're doing. Probably uh, not a bad idea to back this thing down a bit. Plus we're in a pretty good spot. That was a Seventh place is pretty darn good. I'm happy with that right now, so 
no real reason to try to snatch up a bunch more spots. I have a feeling these guys behind are probably going to be better at going fast and saving tires, so if they come up on me, I'm not going to fight it too hard. Hopefully get back to the bottom line as soon as possible if they do get a nose below me. Three gallons short on fuel. Don't think you'd be able to save that much. This might be a place you could do lots of clutching, though. So you might be able to save a surprising amount. But not that much, anyway. Will I be able to actually take care of the tires this run? Three looks like he's trying to move forward now. Inside. Yeah, he's gonna go to the inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. Give up another spot if possible. We're able to slot in here. The two's able to do the same, I'll I'll give it to him, but I don't wanna just assume that uh, he belongs in front of me. He looks like he's backing down the exit of two a lot more. Might be a point where I'm hitting my right front more than others. Something to keep in mind. Yeah, the exit to corners I might be overdriving. I'm spacing that off of uh, where I seem to be gaining time on him. getting much time anymore. It feels like I'm falling off. Well, I thought I was doing okay. You know, I'm, re I'm really trying to underdrive this thing. Going to the pits. That was a guy that was involved in the record. Right? Yeah, that's Guys ahead are just driving away. Not sure what I can do about that. Your last lap time was at thirty one point one. He's got more grip. No, I just, I have to back up more than he needs to. There, I'm not giving it to him just because he looks. That's not how it works. Eighth place, and you've just done a 31.2. That's good consistency, keep it up. He should be able to get it here out of two. I know he's just gonna follow me. Get it. Seems like he's much faster. I think maybe now he's trying to get a run backed up. Okay, Those corners.
He's keeping an eye. I know he wants to make a move. He's at least being patient and waiting for the right moment, I think. I am super tight now. Inside. One, two. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. There's two Inside. spots. Let's go. Clear. 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 That's not so bad. Still be P10. Got a nice one second gap behind us. So. We might have to come in a little bit earlier. Since I'm so bad at skip tire. I don't know. Struggling. I swear, man, I'm trying. I really am. In fact, the temperatures still aren't an issue. So I'm going to actually go some more on this thing when we do pick. Like, I don't, I don't remember even seeing it in the orange. That was at 21.7. Thank you, Ricky. Behind, kind of yeah. even on pace with us right now, it looks like. The guy's ahead, pulling away. People we'll coming about lap 60. Now, if we're going to pit a little bit earlier. In front is now 0.8. You've just done a 31.6. Top 10 would be just fine. That'd be excellent, actually. So if that's what I end up with, that's totally cool. No need to panic. I hope we get green flag pit stops, though. That's a lot of fun. My favorite parts. Racing, the strategy, and the, and the uh, execution of a solid green flag pit stop. Love that stuff. Actually pulling away from the guys behind now. Who knows? Maybe this thing's like an uh, ultra long run setup. <laughs> It'll really come in. Doubtful, but not unprecedented. Had a situation like that before. The car is like pretty good short run, and it kind of dies off, and then later in the run it starts coming alive again. So we're fun races but we'll see, but I doubt it. They really look like they're driving away in front of us. And it's really looking to me like we've found our little pocket here where we belong, as we now have a second both in front of and behind us. This is my hole that was made for me. Still not quite to halfway. Get close though, about a lap or two away from it. To be honest, I think the car is getting better. I mean, look at that, we're a tenth up on last lap. Could be just that I'm backing it down properly now. Oh, we had someone sliding up ahead. Someone getting loose? Out of two, it looks like. The ten, he's the one I was blocking earlier. So it's a bit of a red flag. And who knows, uh, maybe it would bring out a real red flag. But my racing has real red flags, but if they did... <laughs> the red flag, that they might be the kind to bring out a red flag. The gap behind is now 2.0. That lap was a 31.7. 
Big Rex from blocking him. So Thanks, Steven. Trying to be, uh, after getting so frustrated with Sim and not having fun with it for a while, I am trying to, like, be in a better mood. Not complain as much when guys do things like block or take a three wide on lap two. Because it's always going to happen. It's never going to happen. Well, let me rephrase that. It's always going to happen once in a while. There's always going to be those drivers who take those risks. Doing everything they can to improve their race. If that's what they feel like they need to do. Yeah, I might get caught in their nonsense once in a while, but that's just uh, part of how it goes. Racing, so I'm trying to improve my mindset about all that. So I feel a bit better. It's only so much you can control. In other people's cars is not one of those things you can control. It'd be kind of sad if you were just racing yourself all lonely. <laughs> Catching up to the two again, I think. Which surprises me. I thought the two was doing a really good job saving tire. But all of a sudden, it's looking like maybe he might be. Will you see them? Which is not an issue I'm having. I'm definitely still pretty tight. But not unbearably so. Like I said, I think it actually has gotten a little bit better. So maybe we're going to be uh, back to trying to pit at an optimal time. Cap 2, Bruno in front is now 1.0 seconds. So about 62, maybe. It's been a while since I had to do this kind of math, so I might be doing that wrong. Trying to think, like, well, our initial plan was to stop at 45, directly in the middle. So if we uh, are now... We now had the caution at lap 17. Push that back about 17 laps, right? Is that how it works? I'm probably embarrassing myself by saying that out loud. Problem is, I'm always occupied with racing while I'm having that kind of calculation. So, usually about 50% at best of my brain is working on that <laughs> at a time. This is why real drivers have good use. Guys are getting really loose up there. I think I might have predicted what this setup was going to do. I think we're actually getting good again. Lap times are pretty consistent. Your last lap time was at 31.8. Start to feel a lot of these guys back in. Planning room behind us, you can see almost three seconds now. That lap was at one point eight. I like this development. So we're getting pretty close to whenever we're supposed to be pitting. We won't be able to take advantage of our uh, speed advantage for too much longer. So we got about nine laps or so though. Colton, the next car is Bruno. Let's see the two just slide into the corner. Oh, I just felt the loose moment. All right, starting to feel what these guys are feeling, maybe.
catching up to him. When are we going to see people start pitting? If they're starting to be that loose, they might consider pitting early. I think the A just had a major moment. I couldn't really see him, though. Locked by two. View-wise, that is. Not actually. Mm -hmm. Car ahead is Clark. Watch out for pitters. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there's a car on the high side. Clear outside. Car outside, slow car down low, still there, hold your line. That guy's pitting me in. Okay, keep low. Why he's hitting me on the right side. It's a wide track here in Texas. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. Fighting hard. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. It's stalling the progress. Plan is still lap 62. Okay, the car's getting real tight. I'm overdriving. Getting a little too excited to run around these guys. Oh, that's got fresh tires. I didn't see it coming. Not too bad. I'm pitting this time. Pitting this time. Stay high. This car on the low side. Clear inside. It's pitting ahead. That's scary. We got it all figured out though. The eight. The lap time was thirty-two point two. Really got to keep an eye out for these fresh tires too. They can find us in a hurry. I'm starting to get loose. I'm pitting in, Bruno. I'm pitting in. And he's pitting in too. Saving the dagger, I'm going in. Alright, we'll be pitting in this lap. You're in fourth position. I'm down my pits with you. Thank you. Pitting in here, pitting in. Hopefully my mic's working and hopefully his ears are working. The lead is pitting now. Gosset is leading the race. Is the car leading the pit lane? A little soft, but we got there. Pit box in. Everything's set. Ready to go. Colton, the next Five, car is car. The car behind three, is pitting now. Two, one. Right here. Check up, check up, check up. No! Oh my god, are you kidding me? That's embarrassing. Are you kidding me? Oh, what's this gonna do now? What the hell was that? Oh god, how is this gonna cycle out? What happened there, Steven? I just got yeah, a little too Falling. soon and... Instead of like correcting and trying to get back on the track, I tried to put it in the wall to keep it spinning. Gotcha. Oh boy. I thought you got echoed it around or something. This is either jackpot or bankrupt. About to find out. Are you behind the pay chart? 
Yeah, that, that's a bummer though. We're under caution. It's closed. Leather 22 carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. What is this gonna look like? The leader, Gosset, is pitting. We're gonna get the wave around, looks like. That's good. Car 13, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Left us 13, carbide, you had the position when the yellow flag came out. Get the wave around. Got what's going on here? We are not on the same lap as these guys ahead. So will we be put in front of those guys? I don't know. Seems a bit messy. Plenty of fuel, just enough fuel, I guess, with the auto fuel. But no set. Just open. It's open. Got fresh tires. Don't need to go to the pits. Obviously, just came out. Kind of interesting that it costs you even food for that. I think it was that thing came up on the side there. We'll be able to see what all happened out here. <laughs> Later. That sounded like it was a pit related. It was a bad, bad spot, and I was facing cars that were coming off that road. I apologize, everybody, for ruining that green flag run. Scored in seventh. We'll be on the lead lap once we get the wave around. Will we be in front of another other guys that are laps down? I think so. Got fresh tires, that's good. Not everybody else around us are gonna have that privilege. Is where they don't fix your car? Or? Yeah, they've been going on strike lately. <laughs> They're out there with the, the riders. I just I haven't said nothing, it just says my speed while it's sitting in my box. So I'm not entirely sure how this has worked out yet, but I think it's looking pretty good for us. Fresh tires, and I think we're going to be in seventh. So I think this was a good thing for us. Get going because lots of guys probably need the wave around here. One left to green. Okay, Colton. Line up on the inside. Big road to this close right now. Pass the pace car. I don't really want to use up my tires though, either. Catch up, 22 car. We're here. All right. So we will be behind other wave around cars. Looks like. Interesting. Interesting.
Hopefully we don't have much trouble getting around these guys. They've got a little bit of older tires and obviously are not on the lead lap. I don't know what these people are doing. Caution, yellow flag. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. What are you even doing there, Tommy? What in the hell are you doing? I was trying to call Pits that out, guys, behind us. We were wrecking in front of him. Green came out and he didn't go. So check out. Come on up here, 20. Okay. That's probably good for us. We'll be able to get around these guys now that are laps down. So that, that works out pretty well, actually. Still don't want that to happen, though. That's just that just stinks. It'd be great if people uh, hit the gas whenever they get the green get out, especially if you're going to be laps down and blocking people that are racing for top fives here. I don't know what caused it though. Maybe there was tire spin or something up there. Full course yellow. Pits are open. I appreciate who. That's definitely getting a new no clip. So I appreciate who didn't run into the back of me. Eh? Oh, he's already on it. Well, I'm not surprised. Don't be doing it again. Car 25, got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Do it again, Tommy. Do it. Same Tommy, Ooh, I, I got guess the, the three did something? I don't know. Maybe that's what caused that checkup. Maybe the 16? Looks like 25 did it. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So we paced some more. Shorter run to the end, at least. It's good for me and my terrible tire saving. Be on the inside, that's good. Love that. It's open. We won't have lap cars in front of in front of me, that'll be even better. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we got guys with damage ahead. That uh, 19 right there has got damage. He's going to be right in front of me. Let's start. Hopefully he can hit the gas when the green comes out. Fresh tires. Seems like most guys ahead have fresh tires. So we're going to be on an equal playing field in that regard. Wish I could scroll this and see uh, like where the leaders are in terms of last time they... Uh, Got tires. I'm assuming they're all on fresh tires, though. We're under caution. Pits closed. That's the only way that could have worked out, realistically. I 
right, let's get this going. One to go, next time by. Line Garrity. up on the Race inside. At the end of this lap. It's been such a good little race. Let's go uh, green to the end now. Nice run for the most part. Don't want it to fall apart now. I'm going to have to be kind of aggressive here, try to get some spots if I can. Not aggressive, aggressive. Still got a handful of laps to go, but uh, if I can get my nose on someone, get that bottom line, I'm going to take it, or else uh, I imagine whoever's behind me is going to take it from me if they can. Got to get that momentum and keep it. So hopefully we uh, get a good jump, see where it takes us. That car does not look good, though, that 19. He's real beat up. A little worried he's not going to fire off too well. Like, I see damage on his front as well. Not feeling too confident about that. Hopefully I can get around him without too much trouble if he is slow. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green, green, green. Seven position. Car outside. Car ahead is clear high. Car outside. Found them. Keep low. Keep low. Clear outside. Sixth place. He's outside. Uh, I think it's just the trash company taking the trash out. I don't need distractions right now, sirs, but I appreciate your help. Keeping our world clean. <laughs> Sponsored by Waste Management. Okay, that thing's getting loose. Good job, Kevin, as I go by. Stay low, doing the car on the high side. Stay low, doing the car on the high side. Stay low, fight it. Clear outside. Too much. Okay. Like said, here's bud. I don't know. Okay, the video passed the start for Gosset to try and get back in here. Okay. I'm trying to go fast, but at the same time, save a little bit of tire. We're kind of at a knockwood spot where you can't just full sprint it. You have to uh, serve a little bit. Fighting for the lead up there. It slow us down, or slow them down. So uh, bring them to us. I can't get them. <laughs> That's right. Speech is out the window. No one can hear me anyway. I'm in a race car. It's loud in here. Got that extra tape on it. It'll help us. What's this? You've just done a bench point. Something tells me he's not just uh, mentioning what track we're at. Yellow flag. Line up, single file. What the fuck are you doing, 25? How do you come in there way after that and clean me out? Way after. It looks like Brennan has spun off. Ice car is out. It's closed. Go back and watch the replay and put talking. I don't have to. You were nowhere near the wreck when it went down. You had guys to the outside wrecking on you. I had nowhere to go. I was slowing down. So go back and watch the replay. Quit bitching. 
Oh, now they're getting I, I uh, spicy. To, like you were literally not Project there. Eight, you were going yeah. to do it too bad. Road, Whatever. Yeah, though. <laughs> There's probably a chance. You guys like cars oh. a lap down, reckon for like twentieth. Think so. That was two cars on the lead lap that wrecked together and took out everyone else. Oh man, big bummer. If everyone else does, I think I do. They ruined our lucky dog. <laughs> Same, Chris. I, I was gonna get it. I was sitting here logging it down, and yeah, yeah. I was Everybody's on the outside, right. and then I had a guy speed, speed, and I think on the right, right side. I, I don't know if we had anywhere to go. I just know nobody was that close yet. Like there was a pretty good gap between me and Chris, and then there's people behind him. Like, are you kidding me? Give me a millimeter back. All right, you may notice I put more tape on it. That was a big wreck. Hopefully I didn't lose too much time. Okay, punch it. That's it for tires. Make them last the rest of the race. Right. right. Single file. Lose one spot, maybe? like so I got more tape on it shorter run it should be all right well you're getting pretty hot up there in tape who stayed out because you know there's gonna be someone one person stayed out that's a guy we already passed a little scary of course yellow pits are open Does that mean we're going to be on the inside still? Because one person stayed out and we lost one spot? It might be a move of the race, losing a spot on pit road. Oh, is he pitting now? I believe he is not. No. Okay, that was the seven. The tires aren't that old, so he's not going to be crazy off pace. But I don't think that's the winning move, by any means. Even that 3% we were missing, I could feel it. Take our last set of tires. Eighth. Dang. Maybe we lost two spots. Oh. Kinda stinks. We're gonna be on the outside. But we'll see if we can make it work. He's like, go back and watch the replay. Try to add the fuel back. Get some more turn in this. Although, I don't know. Maybe with this extra tape, it'll be turning plenty enough already. 74% now. For qualifying, I was using, I think, 86%, so we're not even off that, too far off my qualifying tape. I had lowered the, uh, the tape to 86 for qualifying because it was just getting too loose for me. Takes a couple laps for the tires to get up to temp enough that it feels secure. Of course, you don't have a couple laps for qualifying, so I chose to uh, lower it just a bit. And I'm still sliding. One to go. Next time by, line up on the outside. <sighs> I think we get a good jump. Hope we can get to the bottom. So you can, as I was saying before the race even started, I think, kind of make it work a little bit. It's bad on the tires, but we don't need tires anymore. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, we've uh, been mired by cautions to the end of this thing, though. We're having so many uh, good green laps. We do uh, first gear. I'm going to try the first gear, I think. I want that jump. That's a mistake. Maybe I'll remember to actually do it this time. 
I think we should get a good view of the leader. That'll be important. It'll be eight to go. About to go green. Stay focused. The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. It's a quick shift. I don't know how I feel about that. Still there at the bottom. Stay high with the car on the low side. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there inside. You're up top, three wide. Still there. Hold your line. Inside, two wide. How did I make that work on the top three wide? Put outside again. Good. Oh, this is sketchy. Seven. Does have to go anywhere? Definitely see some blocking at this point. Five left to go. That guy going way wide. That's a guy who does uh, doesn't have fresh tires. That makes sense. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. No sense. Stay low. Clear up top. Six. Didn't want him on the inside of me. Drove hard into the corner to prevent it. Oh, I'm getting tight. I'm getting tight. Wow. That came out of nowhere. That sucks. That's going to lose me two spots. All right, don't overdrive it. Good to know. Oh, should know that already. But good to know. A lot of attempts getting up there, but two to go. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Oh. Two more. Let's go. Oh, that's not a big of a deal either. <laughs> is blinking. Got some space behind, that's good. Coming to the white flag. What is this tightness mid corner? That's terrible. What is happening with this car? White flag, one more left to go. What Inside. was that? That was garbage. Stay high with the car on the low side. Still there, hold your line. Clear. This car is trash all of a sudden. Three and four. Alright, that's fine. We'll take a Green ninth. Fight there, Mike. That was fun. Good this thing went away in the last couple laps. It almost feels like yeah, it took me to race. race, man. Good oh. race from everybody. Oh, well. P9, that's where we're supposed to finish, Tommy. Good job, guys. Right. There's a ticket flag. That was fun, Tommy. Good work, man. Good work. You did really well. Oof. I can't tell you how good it felt uh, for on my part to do a clean race like that. I bet you shambles. Good race, good winner. Find ourselves a nice place to Appreciate park. Appreciate that fight, Jonathan and Mike.
I'm bummed out though. I thought uh, adding that extra tape was gonna help us out late, Ron. But it was not working for me. But that's all right. Still a good finish. So P9, right where we're supposed to finish. Gained some spot from where we started. Down 96, 97 already. After just a couple green flag laps. I don't know. There was just that couple, those couple of times. Late mid corner and three and four. All of a sudden, it just stopped turning. It's like the. It's almost like it bottomed out. Like look at that hitting bumps really bad or something. You see how much it's bouncing around. Not sure why that would happen. Twenty-five. If you had a chance to watch that replay there, that you were. I don't know, man. That's rough. But yeah, anyway. I went back and watched it. At least we held on to it the best we could. Had a decent finish still. Top 10. I said that would be excellent. And I still feel that way. Yeah, I saw the guys on the inside start wrecking and I got out of it. And then I started going high to go around. And then there's like two guys right behind me start wrecking. I had nowhere to go. I was back on the break. And speaking of wrecking, we'll take a look at all this stuff that's happening. I hear you, man. Like, I get it. I might have done something similar. How do, when you gas back up, right... Next seven, just a wall tap. Get yeah, up uh, next to the Texas sign on the inside of the wall. Though. That's probably Same where I would have been choking it down. But that's what I was... I, Two turns down on the 17 know, bit. So far back. Who did that to me? I think I felt him. I don't think it caused a contact. Yeah, I wasn't. I did feel I didn't it. The guy Whoa. Right on the 15. Or the 25, the rather. Wrecking, and then all thought he was going to bounce off the wall and hit me. I don't know what happened to them. That's why I was trying to go around, go around the outside, get around everything. And then it's like right when I went to go back in the gas, Scared me. they started wrecking. So I just didn't have any chance. Not as close as I thought it was in car, though. Yeah, Good to be Small cautious, though, there, I anyways, think. We're spinning out in the green flag from fourth. Three wide. Oh, yeah, I want to watch that three wide on the final restart, too. Ooh. I want to watch that uh, three wide I was involved in. I don't know how I managed to pull off passing on the high side of three wide. That's major net code. That sucks. Like, there were three wide, but there shouldn't have been any contact here. I think I heard them mention that code before too. Like that's that's really bad. Man, that code really is getting worse. <laughs> Apparently. And a uh, nice handful of people involved in this one. Eh? Pretty bad spot for that to happen. Big team kind of plows into it. But you're going 170 at this point, so kind of understandable. So, we got people lining up. Let's see what happens next. That isn't just a wall hit. Well, that was a pretty big one, though. 25's having a little bit of a tough time with that turn 2 exit. And turn 4 exit. He's having a rough one in general, I think. Going for a ride. Blinking. See if we can find the next bit of action. Here's the two turning down on me, I think. That was a little bit up the track, but... I mean, that wasn't even a contact. I don't know. I'm pretty much in line with where, where everyone else is. That's kind of the bottom line, I think, right? Following right along with everybody else. I'll go ahead and take 50% blame. That's fair, right? 50-50. No one got hurt. I don't know. Maybe I'll just take 100%. It didn't affect anything anyway. Map 60. Nothing going on there. We got some... Getting up to speed, maybe, is what we're seeing. I'm not sure what that is. No, that's just driving. <laughs> I don't know why we're seeing it. And the 7. So the 7 self-spins on exit. And he's yelling at someone else later, isn't he?
waiting for someone to plow into him. I was I was thinking that's what was going to happen, and then I'm just going to be like, yeah, that's actually, I kind of get it. I would be mad if he came in 20 hours later. But apparently something still needs to happen. So what happened with this restart? Those guys just not going ahead. Like, look how far off he is anyway. Like, I understand if you're at the rear of the field in your lap car and you're like, I'm just going to leave a bunch of space. We got people trying to go behind you, man. Like, all this space... Close it up, and then hit the gas whenever the green comes out. I think that's reasonable to ask. But he decides to start in fourth gear. It causes a stack up. I don't know, man. I was pretty bad on the 16, too. I mean, he avoided me, but he didn't need to go all the way down there. I don't know, I'm not going to complain at the 16, he didn't hit me, and I'm thankful for that. A little bit of an overreaction though, makes him go in the grass, and then all this happens. A couple people getting caught up in all that. Moving on. Lap 78, 20's drifting up, 21's pinching him pretty hard too though. Looks like that's what's going to bring out a caution. Twenty-one might have been pulled into the twenty though by that code. I got a major wreck there in the back stretch, flipping. Whoa! You see smoke right there, you're kind of just driving right into it. You're not slowing down. Yeah, you kind of arc a break that one. Yeah, he's just bouncing off everybody. But, uh, wow, this guy went for a ride. Oh, that's a uh, fourth gear restarter. Whoa! That was a fun one. Oh, I'm trying to get it going again. Lap 76, or at least that's the lap this guy's on. I don't know if that's the current lap. 16's gonna run into him though. 80th, 88th place. Three wide here on lap 88. This is when we're going hard. Team turning down like he's not three wide. On his old tires. And there's your winner. All right, I do want to go back and look at that three wide I had. Where was that though? Here's the restart. Here we are. Yeah, that guy's just got kind of loose, I guess. See, you can run the high line of Texas. Huh. I'm wondering, like, is the 5 just super tight? Is that why he's not? I would, like, assume he would be the one zooming out of the corner ahead of everybody. Maybe he checks up because of the 6, looking like he's getting loose, turning down on him a little bit. Yeah, he does get loose. Maybe he saw that checked up, and that's what allowed me to carry my momentum around him. I get clear of the six. I just, I just I did not expect to come out ahead. Entering that corner three wide, that's for sure. I thought I was in a terrible position. Huh. Well, hey, that was pretty cool. <laughs> That'll do it, though, because uh, we saw everything from there. Including that. And uh, we'll take ourselves a ninth place pit finish as the nine car. Pretty solid return. I'm happy with that. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully this recording worked, and uh, 
<laughs> everything, the mic, recording and everything did all right. It's been a while. But uh, for now, I will see you next time. Hopefully, not as long. <laughs> see ya.